A 15-year-old student is in hospital in critical condition after a shooting outside a high school in Toronto. For more on this, let's bring in the CBC's Sarah Galashin. So, Sarah, can you take us through what more we know about this? Well, so, Andrew, what we heard from Toronto police is that this shooting happened just afternoon, 12.02. Uh, one male student, uh, 15 years old, as you said, uh, shot in the parking lot outside Weston Collegiate Institute. Um, now, this victim, we were told, was shot in the chest but was able in the parking lot to turn around, run back inside the school where staff and faculty were able to uh, initially tend to him um, until an ambulance arrived, transporting that uh, student to a trauma center and the student's parents notified. As for uh, the suspect or suspects, as we heard from the press conference, uh, responsible police really have a lot of questions, but here's what they said about uh, what they do and don't know. Unknown males uh, drove by and um, obviously shot this gentleman. Um, they made good their escape um, in unknown direction. Uh, I do not have a description of the suspects or the suspect vehicle. What I can tell you is that our Guns and Gangs Unit and um, 12 Division Major Crime and 12 Division uh, Criminal Investigation Unit is on scene and we're canvassing for witness and vid video information. To the point of video, they are asking any residents in the area who might have uh, home surveillance cameras, anyone driving in that area, specifically near Pine Street and McDonald Avenue uh, around noon, to check those uh, cameras for any video, to, to notify police if you have anything, because again, they don't know the color of the vehicle or even how many individuals they are specifically looking for. So that video could be crucial here. Uh, they cannot say whether or not they think this student was targeted, but what they are saying is that he is currently in critical condition and Andrew his injuries are considered to be life-threatening and the school was in lockdown for most of the day where do things stand now so the lockdown slowly lifting uh, through the end of the day and many of those students uh, being uh, taken to nearby uh, junior schools uh, there are parents and students uh, who did speak to our, our cameras outside Weston Collegiate Institute uh, just about what a difficult day it has been and how things how things transpired throughout the day but take a listen they contacted us with an automated service letting us know that they were safe and that the school is on lockdown that there was a shooting. We were coming back from lunch and we saw all the police officers come to the scene, like all of them, and then they were coming, they rushed into the school and then we were standing outside for like a good 30 minutes before they brought the victim out on the stretcher and then after that they moved us to the elementary school. Kind of in shock, I think this is just like a really bad nightmare. I, I don't think this is real. So as you heard that one student there say, the, the students from Western Collegiate Institute transferred to nearby junior schools as police continue to investigate that crime scene. Andrew? Sarah, thank you. The CBC Sarah Galashin.